And when he passed away, Umar radiallahu an took a sword. He said, whoever says the Prophet Muhammad is dead will have his head cut off. I'm not playing. He's not dead. He went to have a meeting with Allah as Musa did. He will come back. He did not die. He was crying. Then Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu came. He entered. He saw the blessed body of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He came out. He said, Ayyuhannas. He said, Come down, Umar. Ayyuhannas. Man kana ya'budu Muhammadan fa inna Muhammadan qadmat. Wa man kana ya'budu Allah fa inna Allah hayyu la yamut. Oh, humankind. Oh, people. Whoever is worshipping Muhammad should know that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is dead. But he who worships only Allah shall know that Allah is ever living, ever lasting. Alhamdulillahi alladhi lam yattakhidh waladan wa lam yakul lahu sharikun fil mulki wa ma kana ma'ahu min ilah. Al mustahiku li jami'an wa il ibada wa lidha qadha an la na'buda illa iya. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lahu fi ardihi wa samaih. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. وصفيه من خلقه وخليله القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد Dear brothers and sisters of faith All thanks are due to Allah the one and only creator the supreme and the most high We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything we thank him for the gift of faith, al-Islam. We thank him for the gift of health. And we thank him for everything. We pray, may he continue to bless us all. And we thank Allah, and we bear witness that he alone deserves to be worshipped. And we also bear witness that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's last and final messenger. My dear brothers and sisters in faith, a very short, inshallah, reminder today, uh, tonight. First, we love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. We love our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His love is too deep in our hearts. It's rooted in our hearts. Too deep. Very strong. Yes. No. The, his love, he is our heart Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. He is our, our heart. Yes. We love him so much. And brothers and sisters, this love of the Prophet ﷺ is in ranks. Great. Grade by grade. If you want to examine and grade your faith, then fetish fi qalbik, how much do you love the Prophet Muhammad? If you want to know how, how high was the level of your faith, ask yourself, how much do I love the Prophet Muhammad? Because he said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس أجمعين. None of you shall have faith. Our scholars said, أي لا يؤمن إيمانا كاملا. You will not have complete faith until you love the prophets more than you love everything. Your parents, your children, everything. So ask yourself, how much do I love the Prophet Muhammad? Search in your heart. By doing so, you will understand. Because as I said, it's grade by grade. There are some people, whenever the name of the Prophet Muhammad is mentioned, they don't feel anything. Some, when his name وسلم, is mentioned, they cry due to intense love. Some, when his name sallallahu alayhi wa is mentioned, they smile due to intense love. Some, when his name sallallahu alayhi wa is mentioned, they are happy due to intense love. Yes. كُلُّ الْقُلُوبِ إِلَى الْحَبِيبِ تَمِيلُ وَمَعِي بِهَذَا شَاهِدٌ وَدَلِيلُ أَمَّا الدَّلِيلُ إِذَا ذَكَرْتُ مُحَمَّدًا تَرَدُّمُ الْعَاشِكِينَ تَسِيلُ Yes. Some, when you mention the Prophet Muhammad, you will see them crying. 
and brothers and sisters in faith, yes, he deserved to be loved. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, he deserved to be loved. His companions, they loved him so much to the extent that, brothers and sisters, if he spit a saliva, they run to catch the saliva to rub it on their body. Yeah, Allah. If he makes wudu, making wudu, they are fighting for that water. They fight for that water just to rub it on their body. Yes. This is how much they loved him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abu Sufyan said, Ma ra'aytu ahadan yuhibbu ahadan kahubbi ashabi Muhammadin Muhammada. He said, I had never seen anyone loving anyone like the love of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad to Muhammad. They love him so much. Yes. In a battlefield, her father, her husband, and brother were killed. They told her, she said, but they just told you they killed your father they killed your husband they killed your brother her question is another wire what did they do to the prophet they said khairan he is fine he is okay she said she said take me to him I want to see him I want to be sure that he is fine when she saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam she said Kullu yes I lost my father I lost my brother I lost my husband but any calamity after seeing that he okay is minor La ilaha illallah. what a love they killed your father they killed your husband they killed your brother but what came out of her what happened to the prophet muhammad is he okay is he fine yes he's okay let me see him and when she saw him she said to him everything is fine as long as you are okay ya allah what a love brothers and sisters in faith they loved him so much that when he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got sick they will sit down and cry as imam buhari reported that marra abu bakr radiyallahu an wal abbas marra abu bakr wal abbas radiyallahu anhuma bi majlis min majalis al ansar wa hum yabkun wa dhalika fi hali maradihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he falls sick, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they will sit down in group, crying. Crying! Because of intense love. They loved him. Yes, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when he passed away, Umar radiallahu an took a sword. He said, whoever says the Prophet Muhammad is dead will have his head cut off. I'm not playing. He's not dead. He went to have a meeting with Allah as Musa did. He will come back. He did not die. He was crying. Then Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu came. He entered. He saw the blessed body of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He came out. He said, Ayyuhannas. He said, Come down, Umar. Oh humankind, oh people, whoever is worshipping Muhammad should know that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is dead. But he who worships only Allah should know that Allah is ever living, everlasting. And he recited, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبِلِهِ الرُّسُلِ أَفَإِنْ مَا تَأَوْكُتِ لَنْ قَلَبْتُمْ عَلَىٰ أَقَابِكُمْ وَمَنْ يَنْقَلِبْ عَلَىٰ أَقِبَيْهِ فَلَنْ يَدُرُّ اللَّهَ شَيْئًا وَسَيَجِزِ اللَّهُ الشَّاكِرِينَ When Umar heard that, he threw the sword on the floor, on the ground. And he started crying. 
he cried. And when he went and looked at the blessed body of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Bi Abi Anta wa Ummi Ya Rasulallah, Inna Allah Qad Ja'ala Ta'ataka Ta'atahu. Ya Rasulallah. He's looking at the blessed body of the Prophet. Oh, Messenger of Allah. Allah has made obedience to you, obedient to him. Obedience to him. When he said, May yuta'ir rasula, faqad ata Allah. Whoever obeys the Prophet has indeed obeyed Allah. He said, Bi abi anta wa ummi ya Rasulullah. May my father and mother be ransomed for you, ya Rasulullah. Laqad kunta takhtubu ala jidhi nakhla. Falamma kathura al-nas ittakhadhu laka min baram. فَحَلَّ ذَلِكَ الْجِذْعُ جِذْعُ حَتَّى وَضَعْتَ يَدَكَ الشَّرِيفَةَ عَلَيْهِ فَسَكَتْ فَأُمَّتُكَ أَوْلَى بِالْحَنِينِ إِلَيْكَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ You used to give khutbah on a trunk of a trunk, palm tree a trunk of a tree and when the congregation got bigger they made you a member the day you stood on that member, Ya Rasulullah, and you left that trunk of a tree, everybody in that masjid heard the sound like a baby crying. Hmm. Hmm. What happened? They did not know where the sound was coming until he, sallallahu alayhi wa came down the new member, went straight to the trunk of the tree, rubbed it, and begged it to be quiet. He said, we... We, Sayyidina Umar said, we, your nation, <sighs> Brother, how much do you love the Prophet? If a trunk of a tree is crying because the Prophet did not step on it, what do you think you and I should do? We should be screaming because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is no longer with us. But what do we do? We obey him. We follow his footsteps. If we love him, then we will do what? To show him love is following his sunnah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters in faith. The emperor of the Rome, of the Rome, when Abu Sufyan traveled and met him, in that time Abu Sufyan was not a Muslim. He asked Abu Sufyan many questions and there was a translator the emperor will speak and the translator will say it in Arabic to Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan will give answer and the translator will give it back to the emperor. At the end he said, Law kuntu indahu This question that I asked you Abu Sufyan and the answer you gave me, if I were with him, I would wash his feet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammadun ashraful a'arabi wal ajabi. Muhammadun. خَيْرُ مَنْ يَمْشِي أَنَا قَدَمِي Muhammadun Rasulullah Brothers and sisters in faith With this introduction My talk now is not going to take more than five minutes Yes After this painful death of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wallahi Al-Azim There is no death More painful than that of a mother There is no pain. There is no death. More painful after the death of the Prophet Muhammad, there is no death more painful than that of a mother. A mother. No word can describe a mother. No word. No word can describe a mother. A mother is a mother.
ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه حملته أمه وهنا على وهن وفصاله في عامين أن اشكر لي ولوالديك إلي المصير And we instructed and we commanded people to honor to honor the appearance حملته امه وهنا على وهن his mother your our mothers bore us in their wombs brothers hardship upon hardship feeble upon feeble fainting on fainting yes look at a pregnant woman look how she's soft Brothers and sisters in faith, just look at that. And look at her when she is in labor. Just remember, when your wife is in labor, how does she act? Yes. Our mothers went through that. And one thing to tell you, my brothers and sisters, today they have some things that they will inject them to make it easy for them. But our mothers back then did not have that. They did not. There's no word to describe a mother. So losing a mother, it's not easy. It's not. Look at the breastfeeding as Allah said, wa fi saluhu fi amain. Allah said, anishkur li wali wali dayka ilayya al Be Be grateful to me. And to your mother, and to your father, be grateful. Be grateful to Allah, the one who created you. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقَنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطُفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينٍ ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُطُفَةَ عَلَقَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَةَ مُضْغَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَةَ عِظَامًا فَكَسَوْنَا الْعِظَامَ لَحْمًا ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخَرَ فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ The one who created you in that womb of your mother, as he said again in Surah, Surah Al-Hajj. يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبٍ مِّنَ الْبَعْثِ فَإِنَّا خَلَقَنَاكُمْ مِّنْ تُرَابٍ ثُمَّ مِّنْ نُطْفَةٍ ثُمَّ مِّنْ عَلَقَةٍ ثُمَّ مِّنْ مُضْغَةٍ مُخَلَّقَةٍ وَغَيْرِ مُخَلَّقَةٍ لِنُبَيِّنَ لَكُمْ وَنُكِرُّ فِي الْأَرْحَامِ مَا نَشَاءُ إِلَى أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّى ثُمَّ نُخْرِجُكُمْ طِفْلًا ثُمَّ لتبلغوا أشدكم ومنكم من يتوفى ومنكم من يرد إلى أرض العمر لكي لا يعلم من بعد علم شيئا so give thanks to Allah, the one who created you in that womb. And give thanks to the womb that carried you for nine months. Give thanks also to that womb that, carries, that carried you for nine months. And ishkurli wali walideyka ilayya al-masir. Brother, now you are out when Allah brought you out of the womb of your mother after what she went through. She cannot sleep straight. She doesn't sleep. She many problems. That's why Allah said, Wahnan ala wahn, hardship upon hardship. When Allah brought you out, Wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum la ta'lamuna shay'a wa ja'ala lakum as-sam'a wal abusara wal afida la'allakum tashkurun. When Allah brought you out of that womb, your mother did not rest. She did not rest. The last thing she wants to hear is, You are sick. Whenever you are sick, she is praying, Oh Allah, can you put the sickness on me and let him feel better? Your mother don't sleep. She doesn't sleep. If you are not sleeping, she is not. She's awake. She's taking care of you. Yes. So Allah is commanding you and I always to be kind to them. And no word can describe a mother. We are here tonight because our Sheikh, our brother, Sheikh Ahmed lost his mother some weeks ago. 
We are here to make dua. But Sheikh Ahmed, نُذَكِّرُكَ بِمَا تَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتَ عَلَّمُ بِهِ مِنَّ Whatever we're going to say, you know it. But we are reminded, please be patient. Be kind. The way you were kind to her when she was alive, Sheikh, please continue being kind to her after her death. Yes, maybe you will say, my mom is no longer, you know, she, she is gone. Brothers, if your mother, your mother, your father is gone, continue being kind to them. قُلْ تَعَالَوْ أَتْلُ مَا حَرَّمَ رَبُّكُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ أَلَّا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا So we should always be grateful, be thankful, always be kind to them, dead or alive. So Sheikh, we pray may Allah forgive her. No word can describe a mother, you know. But if you give it to Allah, الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةً قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَجِعُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِّنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ وَأُولَئِكَ مُهْتَدُونَ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our mother. May Allah grant her Jannah. It is painful, but what she needs from you, Sheikh, you know, is to make dua for her. Always continue the dua. Whatever you know that is good, that is approved by Allah and His Messenger, do it, and inshallah, Allah will send it to her. We pray, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive her. As we said, I'm not going to say much, just a reminder. We are here to make dua for our mother. Allahumma gfir laha wa rahamha. Wa afiha wa afu anha. Wa akrim nuzulaha. Wa wasi' mudkhalaha. Wa gsithha bil ma'i wa thalj wa rabarad. Wa naqiha min al-dhnub wa al-khataya kama yunaka al-thawb al-abiyad min al-dalas. Allahumma gfir li abayna wa ummahatina. Wa ajdadina wa jaddatina. Bi rahmatika rahman rahimin ya rabbal alameen. Allahumma ahsin khitamana. اللهم أحسن ختامنا اللهم أحسن ختامنا اللهم اجعلنا من أهل لا إله إلا الله اللهم اجعلنا من أهل لا إله إلا الله اللهم اجعلنا من أهل لا إله إلا الله اللهم رب لنا أولادنا اللهم رب لنا أولادنا اللهم رب لنا أولادنا اللهم رزقكم حب القرآن وحب السنة وحب المساجد برحمتك يا رب رحمنا يا رب العالمين ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم مي الله continue to bless you all